The next big step in getting humans back to the surface of the moon happens in T minus one month. Scientists and engineers at the Langley Research Center in the US are working to make sure NASA's Artemis One mission is a success. Anthony Sabella has the story. The Orion space capsule doing what it's supposed to do in this test video. We want to make sure the structure on the bottom of the capsule is safe. Because when the capsule splashes down after returning from the moon in later Artemis missions, astronauts will be inside. Having been with NASA since just before the Challenger explosion, Darlene Pecora knows what happens if she and her team don't get it right. We have a family at NASA. We care about our astronauts. Which is why testing is so important. As early as August 29th, the biggest test yet, when Artemis 1 is scheduled to blast off. It's unmanned to make sure everything works as it should. It is going to be the, one of the thrills of my life and my career at NASA. I've been, I've been waiting for this moment forever, and I'll probably be crying on the side of the, <laughs> of the, the causeway there. Pecora is one of hundreds of local engineers at NASA Langley Research Center working the Artemis project, aiming to send the first woman and first person of color to the lunar surface. Jeremy Pinier's team focuses on the space launch system, meeting us where wind tunnel test models of the rocket are built. It's almost surreal uh, to have worked on one single thing for 10 years um, and to finally see it be real. When Artemis 1 is airborne, that's when Jennifer Inman's SciFly team jumps into action, collecting data from the takeoff and the later splashdown to make sure the vehicle is working like it's supposed to. Her shatter the glass ceiling necklace, a reminder that her own ground breaking work is helping take women literally further than they've ever been. It's been a lonelier journey than I expected it to be, honestly, um, as, as a woman in a male dominated field. I have a lot of support here, but the idea of seeing the first woman set foot on the moon, uh, that's something that I'm glad I'm going to get to see in my lifetime. 